so first we will see this abrami relationship so in this abrami kinetics the rate of transformation is given by the abrami equation with the fraction of transformed related to the time so this uh, transform fraction is given by f and the formula is f is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus c t to the power n so we can write 1 minus f equal to e to the power minus c t to the power n so where c and n are the constant for a particular temperature we can directly put the fraction transform into this equation and we can calculate the constant c and n and if this t is given now we will see the interfacial energy relationships so in this assuming that the second phase is nucleating at the grain boundaries and the interfacial surface energies of the matrix precipitated boundary and the grain boundary energy of the matrix that is gamma gb and this is uh, matrix precipitated boundary so gamma mp so, and this is fixed at a dihedral angle theta between the matrix precipitate interface so the formula will be gamma matrix and uh, green boundary is equal to 2 gamma matrix precipitate this is the surface energy for the matrix precipitate this is, this is the surface energy of the matrix and green boundary so gamma is equal to 2 gamma cos theta by 2 so gamma gb is equal to the formula will be like gamma of gb is equal to gamma of matrix precipitate surface energy 2 gamma matrix precipitate surface energy cos of theta by 2 so directly we can put the values and we can get the answer so this gamma mgb is the interfacial surface energy of the matrix precipitate boundary and gamma mp is the grain boundary energy of the matrix and precipitate so dihedral angle theta between the matrix precipitate interface the degree of polymerization it is defined as a, the average length of a linear polymer is represented by the degree of polymerization or the number of repeat units in the chain the degree of polymerization can also be defined as a degree of polymerization is equal to average molecular weight of polymer and divide by molecular weight of the repeating unit so if we will divide this average molecular weight of the polymer divide by molecular weight of repeating unit so that will give the degree of polymerization about critical fiber length a critical fiber length LC for any given fiber diameter D can be determined according to this formula LC is equal to capital T multiplied by SF and multiplied by D divided by 2 of tau T so this is the formula where TSF is the tensile strength of the fiber that is capital T and capital D is the tensile strength of the fiber and uh, this tau I is related to the strength of the bond between fiber and the matrix or the stress at which the matrix begins to deform now we will see this drift velocity so this is the average velocity between the collision of two electrons so it is defined as sigma e is equal to n q v so this is the drift velocity electric power p is equal to v i is equal to i square r this is the formula and uh, conductivity of semiconductor that is sigma is equal to n multiplied by q multiplied by mu plus p q mu where sigma is the electrical conductivity e is the electrical field and n is the number of charge carriers and q is the charge on each carrier and v is the voltage i is the current and r is the resistance mu n and mu p mu n and mu p so these are the mobilities of electrons and holes mu n for electrons and mu p for holes yes this is also here n and p represent the concentration of the free electrons and holes in the semiconductor this nurse equation so the electrode potential depends on the concentration of the electrolyte at 25 degree centigrade the nurse equation gives the electro potential in non standard solutions so the equation is e is equal to e naught plus 0.0592 divided by n log of c f i n this is the c ion of the metal in a molar units this is also mentioned here and e is the electrode potential in a solution containing a concentration n is the charge on the metallic ion and e naught is the standard electrode potential in one molar solution 
about Faraday's equation, the amount of metal plated on the cathode in electroplating or removed from the anode by corrosion can be determined from Faraday's equation. The Faraday equation will be this W is equal to I dot T dot M divided by NF where W is the weight of plated or corroded that is in gram, I is the current that is in ampere, M is the atomic mass of the metal. N is the charge on the metallic ion, T is the time that is in seconds and F is the Faraday constant. That value is this one. Peeling Bedworth ratio. So this ratio we generally do it in case of uh, corrosion. So Peeling Bedworth ratio is defined as the oxide volume per metal ion divided by metal volume per metal atom actually this is atom ah, yeah both are atom oxide volume per metal atom divided by metal volume per metal atom if this ratio this peeling weight worth ratio is less than one if this ratio is less than one then what happened the oxide occupy the smaller volume than the metal from which it is formed the coating is therefore porous and oxidation continues rapidly and typical of metal such as magnesium so if it is less than one then oxidation will be very fast if the ratio is one to two that is a range if this ratio is between one to two then what happened the volume of the oxide and metal are similar add an adherent so non-porous productive film forms typical of aluminium and titanium basically we generally see that the layer of aluminium that is Al2O3 we form we find in general cases so uh, that is protective film if the ratio exceeds more than two like two or more than two then the oxide occupies a large volume and may take may sorry may flake from the surface and exposing fresh metal that continues to oxidize typical of iron you see the rusting of iron. so in that case this ratio is greater than two 